Yeah. Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's video, I'm going to talk all about how I deal with having long, frizzy, curly hair while I'm camping, how I keep my hair looking good even at the beach and swimming in the ocean. Uh, this video was inspired uh, because a friend of mine said to me, like, do you, does your hair just dry like that and look that good? And I was like, yeah. This is what my hair looks like after three days of sleeping in a tent, going to the beach, um, not showering or shampooing my hair. I mean, like I washed my body, but I didn't shampoo my hair. There's sand in it. But I know for a fact that it doesn't look nearly as bad as it would have a few years ago um, before I really got into the curly girl method and before my hair got healthier and I kind of learned some strategies for keeping my hair looking half decent at the end of a at the end of a long camping trip so like basically you know three four five years ago if I was making this video today I wouldn't have any curls my hair would just be like completely flat wavy frizzy fuzzy with no curl definition so I'm going to share with you today what I did while we were on the road in order to keep my hair looking like pretty good. Again, we were camping and we're in the middle of the woods and we're swimming and going to the beach. So like my hair doesn't need to look awesome, but it is nice to like wake up and have decent looking hair for the day or be at the beach and have like nice beach hair. So I'm going to share kind of the things that I brought with me and what I did. And then I'm going to go over what I'm going to do today to make my hair look really, really good because we just got home and I'm going to my best friend's 40th birthday party. The two like must have things that I bring, I bring leave-in conditioner, I bring mousse, I make sure I bring a, like a big scrunchie so I can sleep with my hair in a pineapple, that's a must. I tend to bring some smaller claw clips, like three or four of them. So the reason that I bring mousse and not gel or hair cream or um, any other type of styling products is I just find that mousse is versatile and it's easy to apply. You can also apply it like when you get back from the beach when your hair is already like almost dry because mousse has a lot of water in it. One that I have been using for a really long time is Herbal Essences Curl Boosting Mousse. That's like my favorite mousse so far. It's low in glycerin. It has, I, I don't think it has any glycerin in it and it has um, polyquats in it and they're like in the middle of the ingredients list. So it really does have something that in it that makes my hair look shiny and almost, it almost mimics like what a silicone is meant to do and it coats my hair strands and makes my hair look really shiny and defined. So the Herbal Essence is mousse. I'll link it below. I wish I could show you the bottle but it is no longer with me um, and I will have to buy some today because it's like the product that I use almost every day. But So I bring the conditioner, a scrunchie, clips, I bring mousse. If I was going for a really long time and I thought I was going to shampoo and condition my hair while I was there, I would bring shampoo and conditioner. What a pain having to bring like four different things. But uh, for this trip, we were only staying for three days. And you guys know I've gone much longer than three days without washing my hair. Anytime that I get in the ocean or I go swimming, um, I have the leave-in conditioner with me in my beach bag. And I just spray some of it. This one looks like a mist, but it's not. You actually have to, I'll show you. I showed it in my last video too. Yeah, I actually have to like spray it into your hand. Like it's got a very hard spray. And like in my wet hair, I'll just kind of rub some of this in my hair, right? And scrunch it into my hair and in the top as well. I don't use mousse at the beach. I just bring this to the beach. And every time I get in and out of the ocean, I just put like a little bit of this in my hair. And then when I get, you know, back to the campsite in the evening, sometimes that's all I need. And sometimes I will just take a little bit of mousse. I don't even use water or anything. I just take a little bit of mousse and kind of put a couple of balls of mousse. I'd say like tennis ball size for my length hair um, a couple of times. And I'll just put mousse in the sides, you know, using the praying hands technique and the top part of my hair, which I'm going to show you. Right? Oh my God. And I'll just like get like a golf ball size amount of mousse and I... Kind of just do this very haphazardly and scrunch it in, right? And nobody wants to have like a big wall of hair while they're camping. But instead of like pulling it all back tight in a ponytail, I will take my little clips like this. And I will just kind of pin the top part of it back 
this is like how I would wear my hair like to the campfire or whatever. I, I do like to have my hair off my face when I'm camping. Normally you guys know I kind of wear my hair over to one side. Um, but it's just not practical. Or you could wear it like this. You can also put like a little scrunchie in it in the bottom. Uh, which kind of looks like Elaine from Seinfeld, which I love. Um, I feel like I'm fishing for compliments, like I want somebody to tell me that my hair looks like Elaine. But I do that a lot. But the main thing that I do is I try to keep it moisturized. I try to keep it pinned back loosely and not really tight. And I try not to crush it in a baseball hat. And again, the reason I do all of that is because I like my hair to look healthy and curly. Um, even while I'm camping. I do feel like there is a benefit to rinsing the salt water out of your hair. So like if I was at a campsite or somewhere where there was an outdoor shower or there was like fresh water, I would probably get out of the ocean and, and rinse my hair and then put the conditioner in my hair. But where we were, uh, it's just not an option. Okay, so now I'm gonna get ready. So I'm gonna show you like my styling routine and how I'm gonna deep conditioner my hair to make sure it looks really good for tonight. I'm gonna start by doing something that I did in a, a semi-recent video, but that I don't normally do on a daily basis or regularly. I probably only do this like once a month, uh, if that. Um, but I'm going to brush my hair and I'm just gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. Now, I don't typically use any specific brush I do have a Denman brush and I told you guys, I think in one of my videos that I am gonna make a brush styling video only because I always kind of poo pooed it, but I never really got the technique right. And I do already have a Denman brush. So I think I'm gonna try it again. And then, um, is it bounce curl? If I'm wrong, I will let you guys know in the description box. But uh, one of the uh, curly hair product companies just recently released a new brush styling brush and it looks really interesting. And so um, I'm gonna try that in a video. I'm gonna try to learn how to style my hair with a brush and then see if it's something that I actually like. But to detangle my hair, I just use any brush with like semi-soft bristles. And I start from the bottom and work my way up. Um, I normally detangle my hair in the shower, but I feel like I'm gonna have some really, really tough knots underneath my hair. And if my hair was really wet, um, even with the conditioner and I feel like I would break it. Now my hair, again, my hair is like brushing out so easily and it's because I was using leave-in conditioner throughout uh, the last few days and I was sleeping with my hair and a pineapple on top of my head. So if you go to bed with your hair down or in a low ponytail, it's really gonna cause a lot of knots. Now that my hair is all brushed out, we're gonna go into the shower and I'm gonna show you how I deep clean deep condition, recondition, and restyle my hair uh, relatively simply. Shower time. I'm gonna wet my hair with really warm water. Make sure that it's completely saturated. And then this is the shampoo I'm using. It's sulfate free. I will link all of the information about the products in the description box. Um, but I'm gonna use two big pumps and I'm gonna focus on my roots. Now I do let the, uh, I know it's low foaming, but I do let the shampoo run through all my hair. And then I used two more pumps and I'm applying it directly to like the back of my head, to my scalp and the nape of my neck, uh, letting that shampoo run through all my hair and then rinse it very thoroughly. Man, my hair is long. And here's the mask I used today. It is a bond repair mask by Shea Moisture. Not my absolute favorite, but it smells amazing. Um, and I don't hate it, I just don't love it, and I also don't like to waste products. I use about this much. I'm gonna put it all throughout my hair and rake it through my hair. This has very little slip. Doesn't matter because I'm gonna follow up with uh, a regular conditioner, but anyway, I apply it, pile my hair on top of my head, and leave it like that for the recommended three minutes while I take my shower. Ugh, yuck. Um, and then I'm gonna rinse that again really, really well with warm water and apply my conditioner. Here's the conditioner I've been using a lot lately. It is by Tresemme. Um, it's silicone free, I use about that much. I'm gonna run it all through my hair. This conditioner has a ton of slip, has polyquats in it. Really love it, it makes my hair really silky. My hair is already detangled because I brushed it before I got in the shower, but if I hadn't, this is where I would finger detangle my hair. Anyways, don't leave it on too long. Flip all my hair in front of my face. Um, no, the conditioner doesn't run all over my face. How? No idea. It just it just doesn't. Maybe just the way I'm holding my head. Uh, but anyway, I'm rinsing this with 
Again, warm water, maybe a little on the cooler side until I get these ropey things or curl clumps. And then I pull up my bathing suit <laughs> and then I just keep rinsing my hair until it's pretty much all the way rinsed. And then I'm going to squeeze a tiny bit of excess water out of my hair. And then I'm going to apply a curl cream. This is the cream that I have now. I probably won't purchase this because it was like 40 bucks. It's by Redken. Again, I'm going to link all the info in the description box. Man, it is hard to get pump products out of the pump bottles on camera. I use about that much. And I'm going to apply it just like not breaking up the clumps too much. A little bit of praying hands here all over my hair. And then I'm going to squeeze my hair. Um, I'm going to scrunch it and let the water and the product all mix together. And normally I would follow up with gel. And I probably should have followed up with gel right here in the shower. But I skipped that step. And I plopped. I didn't actually plop my hair today. I just kind of twisted it in uh, this towel. But I also will plop my hair in a cotton t-shirt. And it has pretty much the same effect. I either plop my hair or I just wrap my hair up like this and I go about whatever I have to do. If it's early in the morning, I like put makeup on and get my kids ready for school. Today, I'm like putting away all of our camping stuff um, and cleaning up. And so I'll wrap my hair in this towel for like 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes it stretches over to a half hour. And the only thing that I notice that I'm a little worried about is that my hair is not very clumpy and my hair feels really light. So maybe I should have used the leave-in and maybe I should have used a gel. And then I apply my mousse. I found this in the basement in my cupboard where my hair supplies are. So I didn't run out of this after all. And I apply it in three sections. So about this much, I used to say a golf ball, but I have a ton of hair now. So like about this much three times. First one is to the front section of my hair. Yeah. So another one. Right here, praying hands all over my hair. And then this side. And then I'm going to scrunch it as per usual. I'm going to let my hair air dry today because I have a lot of time before I go anywhere. Um, but even if I was going to diffuse it, I normally clip my hair up like this. I take like the front section and I kind of push it up like I make a bump. Like a wall, make a wall. And then I'm going to clip up the sides. Hard to tell what it looks like in my viewfinder, but I've been doing this so much I could probably do it with my eyes closed. Sometimes I go to work with my hair like this, let it air dry, and sometimes I actually just leave the front of it pinned up so that my hair is off my face and it's half up and half down. So this is my hair after like three and a half hours of drying. I haven't touched it, I haven't moved the clips, I haven't even really looked at it that much until right now. Um, and I will most likely be wearing my hair like this to go out tonight and not taking the clips out at all. If I really poofed up the front of my hair and it was ridiculous looking, I would readjust them uh, so that it looked a little better. But I think I tied just enough back and I have just enough of a little poof on the top. I have a bit of a cast. Maybe I applied a bit more mousse than I normally do or... Uh, my hair wasn't as wet as it normally is when I took the towel off. But the way that I will kind of combat that is I might actually take a wide tooth comb and kind of comb out the bottom of my hair a little bit. Now as I'm taking the clips out, I can tell that my hair is a little bit damp. And you can see that my hair still like looks a little bit wet. The part that was all kind of tied up on my head. And what I will normally do is just kind of take it over to one side. It's still a little bit damp from being in the clip, so not as much air was circulating around my hair and drying it. And you have a couple of options. You can either diffuse this part of your hair so that it's all the way dry before you leave the house. This is the way that I like to wear my hair, kind of over to one side. I haven't decided. I might pin a little bit of it back or I might bring a couple of clips with me in case I'm getting sick and tired of it being uh, in my face a bit and I want to tie it back. I hope you liked this video. I hope that it was helpful. You can give it a thumbs up if you liked it and a big old thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.